Tony with Bay State Engines Mechanic Basics Series. I'm going to show you how to do some really basic stuff. And I haven't found any videos on YouTube. Today we're filling a grease gun. Step one, we're going to pull this rod back. Some of these lock to one side. This one actually has kind of like a caulking gun type lock on it. We're going to unscrew the top from the base. Uh, I think I can do this. It's got grease on it. You're going to need gloves, optional, a rag, also optional, and a new tube of grease. So here we go. We got an empty tube. So what I'm going to do, carefully, because I don't like getting grease all over myself, I'm going to push this lock in, and I'm going to pull the old tube out. Okay, we take that, we file that in the garbage. Now we take our new grease gun, we remove the plastic cap. Obviously, make sure it's full. I'm going to push this back in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this down. Hopefully it locks all the way down. Might take a little bit of extra effort here. The shaft is undoubtedly greasy. Okay, now just like a new thing of tennis balls or your favorite beer, peel that off. Now we're back to the top of our grease gun. I'm gonna carefully thread this into place. Should go right on. Now there's a spring in back that straddles this rod. That's actually what we're gonna release here. So it pushes the grease up to the front of the grease gun. And you can see that you actually have to physically push this back in. It's kind of a good indicator of how much grease is left in one of these tubes. Now you have a little air vent here. We're gonna take our rag. We're just gonna push down on this plunger until we see some grease come out. As long as there's not a huge pocket of air, it shouldn't be that bad. See some good grease coming out. Now we go over to our output. I'm gonna squeeze this. See, I'm actuating the grease gun. I don't feel any resistance yet, and there it is. Now I feel some resistance. See that little air bubble that came out? See the grease change color a little bit? Now the grease gun's ready to use. Should take you five minutes or less.